Hi, we're the McFalls, an American family of six with four kids, a cat, and two hamsters who moved from the USA to Germany in February of 2021, and we share our adventures with you on this channel, one of which was our Abstfadian trip to the fairy tale village of Colmar in France. We had so much fun exploring all the charms, history, and Alsatian food this French village has to offer. If you missed our video on our trip to Colmar, you'll definitely want to check that out and I'll have it in the description box below. After visiting Colmar, we drove just 45 minutes to the largest amusement park in all of Germany, Europa Park. In this video, you'll see the highlights of our amazing trip and get to join in on our family fun. We also spent a day in Rulantica, which is Europa Park's huge indoor water park. You'll see all of that and more in this video. arrived to the hotel early and couldn't yet check in, so we put our luggage in the garderobe and went outside to explore the fountains. Little did I know that things were about to go totally crazy. to Europa Park. There's a fountain back here, and now the entire family, except for me and Gabriel, we're the only smart ones in the whole family, are soaking wet because they're playing in the fountain. But they're having a blast. We can't even check into our hotel room, so they're gonna have to take off all their wet clothes in the garderobe, I guess. I don't know. I mean, they're crazy, they're soaking wet, but already we're having a great start. We just arrived and we're already having a ton of fun, so. It is really fun here. Uh, the, the decorations, I mean, the hotel really looks like you're in Rome. It's so cute. There's the replica of the Colosseum right in front of me and we can't wait to see the rest. But the great thing is we can use the pool even though we're not checked into our room yet. So the kids are gonna swim in the pool. We're gonna eat here in the pizzeria and explore the hotel. There's like shopping and it's really nice. I'm very impressed with Yodolpa Park. It's supposed to rival Disney World, and so far I'd say it definitely does. It's really, really nice. And of course, Europa Park is special to Europe because it represents Europe. There's a, a Netherlands section, there's an Italy section, there's a France section, a Germany section. It gives you an appreciation of the history and culture of Europe, which sets it apart from the Disneyland resorts. It's also the largest theme park in all of Germany, and it's one of the largest in all of Europe. It's also one of the only theme parks in the world that has Michelin star restaurants. So we're excited to eat some really good food and we've got dinner scheduled at each of the different hotels the next few nights. So we're gonna have Italian food tonight Then tomorrow we're eating at the Don Quixote restaurants. We're gonna have Spanish food and then we're gonna have Swedish and like Scandinavian food one night. So that's cool. You get to taste the different cuisines from each country. One of the cool things for adults here at Europa Park is each of the hotels also has a 
Wellness spa, a spa. So yeah, you can schedule massages, go to a sauna. I was gonna say sauna, the German way. Um, you can go to a sauna. They have, yeah, a whole spa. So, I mean, it's awesome for the kids and us adults. We can have our wine in the restaurant and we can go to the spa. So this is why families with children come to places like this. <laughs> it's easy for all of us and makes us all happy. What's your first impression of Europa Park, huh? I like being wet. You like being wet? Yeah. It looks like you just jumped in a pool. Well, yeah. What are we gonna do with you now? I don't know. Thank you. 
got any. What do you think of Europa Park so far? We just got here. I like rides like that. The yeah. easy ones. The easy ones, not too scary. So that was Christopher Columbus's boat ride to America. Oh, <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> That's not politically correct anymore. Not really. <laughs> Supposed to be a subset of Oh, no, he was an explorer. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Check it out, the diamond mine. See how cute it is in here? It reminds you of like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but no Snow White. But that's okay, it's still really cute. Are we in the pirate ride? We say yeah. Get out then. I like it. 
Ella, I love your face painting. Yeah. It's so good. And my face. And Julia got it too. <laughs>
What's cool is if you're a hotel guest at a Europa Park, you get your own private entrance in the back of the park while the public is let in the front of the park. And you also get let in 30 minutes earlier than everyone else. So if you want to go hardcore and hit up rides before everyone else, you can. And our oldest boys they did that are this doing morning. that. <laughs> and they did it the other morning too. Yeah. But our youngest two don't want to do that. So <laughs> we've waited longer, but it's so nice to use the hotel while you stay at Europa Park. Warmed up. <laughs> After I had the food. Thank you. Your dryer is a big dryer, isn't it? So cold. Yeah. It's pouring. It's pouring. We're on Josefina's imperial journey right now. But Ella thinks it's pouring. She wants only yeah, roller coasters. But I wanted to see the princess's kingdom. So we're doing this ride for me and not for Ella. <laughs> At least you got your popcorn. The oh. Netherlands section. There are little pancakes uh, with cinnamon and sugar. And this one I got with butter. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. Highly recommend. The kids really ah. like them too. Of it was great. It felt like you were actually flying in a ship through the uh, all of Europe. Yeah, it was, it was cool. And, and then, and then we even saw Europa Park at the very last. Park. Yeah, it ends at Europa Park with a really fireworks cool. show. It's a 4D show. Yeah. Seeing, smelling, hearing, and feeling. Yeah, you feel yeah. mist. And, and, you, and you like, you like move around the seat. You, the seats just push you around, and it makes it feel like you're actually like turning or something like that. Yeah, it's immersive, an immersive experience. It's really cool. What just happened, Ella? I got my hair done! Oh my goodness!
your uh, evaluation of your rope park so far, Griffin? Two words! Awesome! <laughs> oh, and also... Oh my gosh, I'm too small, too big for this. a whole day at the water park here in Europa Park. So cool! So cool. We're very excited, but obviously I won't be filming. So excited! Very much, because not only do other people not want themselves to be filmed on YouTube in their swimsuits. Oh, yes, of course. It's very, very protective of their own faces. Uh-huh. Um, and it's wet in there, so I can't carry around the camera. Very wet. But if you want to see pictures, look at their website. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna spend the whole day here in Rulantica. The water park is based on a German book series. Yeah, uh, but it's supposed to be kind of like Atlantis. There's an, there's an entire, so we're gonna have a ton of fun.
had fun. We had a great day. A long day. And we're very tired. Long day. <laughs> yes. The food was delicious. The rides were fun. Delicious. Very lucky. We're pruny. Yeah. Pruny. Oh yeah. Something well, mm -hmm. as pruny as a as an old woman. We're more wrinkly than a toe after a bath. 